So you might have heard the terms EVF, OVF, and then Live View, and wondered what all that is. Now it can get confusing. Even my video production professor at college confused an EVF and a monitor or Live View. So let's get into this. Hello, I am Lee from Anything Cameras, the channel that focuses on helping you improve your filming and photography. And today it's gonna be about monitoring your video or photo. So what are the different types of monitoring systems? First, we're gonna start off with the original, the OG monitor. Now this was called an OVF, optical viewfinder. And this is in SLR cameras or DSLR cameras. And basically what it is, light comes in through the lens, it reflects off a mirror up into your uh, element up top, and that's called the OVF, and you see what's coming through the lens. So here is a DSLR camera. So if I take the lens off, you can see a mirror inside, and this reflects up into a little prism, which allows you to see the image through the OVF up top. Now I kind of lied when I said OG of all monitoring systems because you had these cameras, which was a single mirror looking down at it, but you probably never seen one of these before, so it doesn't matter. You're never gonna see one again in the future. There are disadvantages to using an OVF. Number one is you cannot monitor video through an OVF and you need to flip up the mirror every time you wanna take a video or photo, which blacks out the OVF. So when you take a photo, many photos in sequence, you get short blackouts every time the shutter opens. Now the next type is an EVF, and the EVF stands for Electronic Viewfinder. You'll find these in mirrorless cameras. Before we go any further, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any more great content like this. So here is a mirrorless camera. If I pop off the lens, you can see it's just the sensor there. So where does the image come from in the EVF? Well, basically what the sensor is doing is capturing an image all the time that doesn't save the image. It just sends it to a small screen up here in the EVF that you can see. So this has some advantages and disadvantages over an OVF. The big advantages are you can monitor video through an EVF and you do not get blackouts every time you take an image. This also shows exposure. With an OVF, you don't know what exposure you're shooting at because you're just seeing what the lens is seeing. You don't know how the ISO is gonna affect the image. You need to look at the meter to find out what your exposure is gonna be. In a EVF, you don't have to worry about that. You'll see exactly what the image is gonna look like. Now, I did say there are a couple of disadvantages. They're small. Uh, one being it's not always as sharp because some EVFs are not high resolution But if you get a nice enough EVF like on this Fujifilm X-T3 or on most decent cameras there's, You're gonna have no issue with sharpness and Also, it does drain battery faster, but it's pretty negligible now There's a third way to monitor your video or photo shooting and that is with a screen now this is called live view monitoring and we got that name live view from when we were using OVFs on DSLRs because to shoot video you'd have to look through the screen giving us the name live view monitoring. And so all cameras nowadays have a digital screen and this you can turn on live view so you can look at the screen. So now live view monitoring can be helpful if you're shooting video because you don't always want your I pressed up against the EVF. It does drain more battery from the camera, but it's a larger screen. You can see a little more detail, but it is helpful when you don't want to have your eye right up against the camera. Now there are all sorts of ways to live view monitor. With this camera, I can plug in larger monitors that will give me more versatility. Like a larger screen can allow me to easily find focus manually when in video and it allows me to see exactly how sharp the image is. So now, what's the best? Well, if you're talking about between OVF and EVF, then EVF is definitely the way to go. But if you're talking about live view versus EVF, it depends on what you're doing. For photographers, having a really good EVF is very important. But for videographers, a really nice 
live view monitor is also very important. So just look at your shooting style, whether you shoot more video or more photo, and determine what your camera focuses on the most, whether that be a screen or an EVF.